What's going on with it, everybody? Happy Victory Tuesday. Of course, the Jaguars have advanced to the divisional round of the NFL playoffs. And now we're kind of coming down off of that, you know, Chargers game. And really now we're starting to gear up and kind of look ahead to the Kansas City game. And, you know, I saw today that the Jaguars were actually eight and a half point underdogs against the Chiefs. Uh, eight and a half point underdogs, which is crazy. Because the last time we played the Chiefs, uh, we were actually nine and a half point underdogs. Granted, we lost that game by 10 points. Uh, but the Jaguars record, you know, before that game was three and six. And since that game, the Jaguars were actually seven and one, uh, which is actually the same exact record that the Chiefs have been um, since that moment, both seven and one. But, you know, really these national guys or really just the Vegas guys not really giving us much of a chance. And I do think that nationally, I feel like we're getting a decent amount of respect. I, I think just with the Doug Peterson effect and people seeing how Trevor Lawrence played and just, you know, a quarterback being able to turn it around after, you know, just the disastrous performance that he started the game as, um, I, I think people are kind of taking notice and saying like, look, the Chiefs will probably win this one, but don't count the Jaguars out of it. Don't count the Jaguars out of it. And um, that's kind of similar to how I feel. You know, I mean, when it comes to this line, I think the Jaguars smash this line. I mean, I don't think the Jaguars lose by more than... I don't think the Jaguars lose by more than eight and a half points. I think that's kind of a crazy line. I more so expected it to be around three and a half, you know, to four. But, you know, I think this line is crazy, but... You know, the Jaguars with the Chiefs, you know, we're going to continue to see because I've actually been checking the Kansas City weather and it looks like it's actually going to be, you know, as of today, it looks like it's going to be snowing there on uh, uh, on Saturday. So that would be interesting elements. Now, I would much rather it maybe snow than actually, you know, have rain and like have the wind effect because I think that kind of takes, you know, the whole football game out of things. But you know, the Jaguars right now are playing really, really hot. And, of course, the Kansas City Chiefs are um, a really, really good team. Look, they're battle-tested. I mean, um, you know, what, they're 14-3 and three on the year. They went to the – but they're, they're – in a way, they're kind of – they're on pace to lose this game, if we're being honest. And I say that because 2019, they won the Super Bowl. Uh, 2020, they, you know, went to the Super Bowl and lost. 2021 they didn't make the Super Bowl so that means that in 2022 they're destined to uh lose in a divisional round right I don't know but you know we'll see it'll be it'll be a really fun matchup um and you know obviously I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to it so you know with all that said man like I'll have more content for you guys when it comes to this preview in this game I just kind of wanted to put out this video because I saw that and I was pretty surprised by you know really just the line of everything but you know, the Jaguars right now, you know, the Chiefs are on the number one seed, and they really haven't played, you know, I think they, they actually, they rested their starters, you know, in the final week against the, uh, actually, I think they, actually, no, they didn't, because they were playing, like, Ring Around the Rose against the Raiders, so, but they really haven't played a legitimate game in a few weeks, while the Jaguars are coming off of two straight playoff games, so they're going to, they're going to catch a Jaguar team that is fiery, that's out there, you know, playing to win, you know, that's out there that's super battle tested why they've been kind of resting a little bit. And, you know, we've kind of seen that kind of, that can have a negative effect sometimes. Sometimes the teams start off sluggish and everything, but the Jaguars will be ready. You know, we'll be ready. So really excited for this one. Go Jags.